All right, here we go. So, substitution. Pretty challenging. Uh, this problem right here would, the way I learned it, I was given this, x plus 2y equals 30, where x is a circle and y is the boxes. So, this is how I would have been given the problem. And then y equals 2x, because I have two circles and one y. So, basically, there's a y equals 2 x. But with pictures, check out how easy this problem becomes. This is So we're trying to solve for x and for y. Two variables. Not easy. So here we go. Let's see if we can do this. So right here in the second equation, it tells you that a square is equal to two circles. So pretty much, you can just come up here and eliminate this square and replace it with two circles. Eliminate this square and replace it with two circles. And pretty much now you can see that you have one, two, three, four, five circles. One, two, three, four, five circles equals 30. Therefore, if we divide by 5, 30 divided by 5, each circle is going to be worth 6. Done. Almost. We found circles. Replace 6 where the circles are, and 6 plus 6 is 12. So the square is worth 12. Went kind of fast. To avoid boredom, let's do another one. Here we go. So right here we've got uh, two circles equals that much. So why not replace these two circles with this much. So we'll cross these out and rewrite triangle plus triangle plus 4 because that's what two circles equals. It says so right here. Uh, and now I just simply add up this, well, now I just solve it. I've got 1, 2, 3, 4 triangles. So 4 triangles plus this 4 here equals 16 right here. If I subtract the 4 off of there, I get 12 equals 4 triangles. So 4 times what is 12, or 4 times 3 is 12. Well, so triangle is worth 3. So if we replace the triangle with 3 down here, I can see that 3 plus 3 is 6, plus this 4 here is 10, and I can also see that I still have two circles that equal 10. So each circle must equal 5. Done. I know I went fast. Try to understand it. Uh, let's do two more. See if you can get it. This time we're going to work back the other way and uh, draw a picture. So 3x is going to be 3 circles. 2y is going to be 2 triangles. So all that added together will equals 41. And then 2y equals 8. So, so 2 triangles together equals 8. So right away, everyone sees that each triangle must be worth 4. So y equals 4. Got that done. Replace 4 here and 4 here. And then if I get rid of that, that means I would take away 4 plus 4 from both sides. So minus 8 here. Minus 8. Wait, this is just one separate thing. Let's not get confused. Minus 8 on both sides. That leaves 33 here, and I still have 3 circles. So 3 goes into 33 11 times. Let's see, 11 plus 11 plus 11 is 33. So circle 
equals 11 <laughs> or x equals 11 done wow cool then let's just check our work really quick 3 times 11 let me use the darker color 3 times 11 plus 2 times 4 equals 41 let's see if that's true 3 times 11 is 33 2 times 4 is 8 33 plus 8 is in fact 41 done 11 and 4 were the correct solutions alrighty then we've got two more to go uh, 2x so this time I'm going to draw two circles plus a triangle equals niner and then down here I've got a circle plus a triangle equals fiber so I don't know about you but pictures pictures are amazing doing it with X and Y ugh, horrible much harder so check this out look I've got a circle and a triangle equals 5 so don't I have a circle and a triangle right here so if a circle and a triangle equals a 5 can I just put a 5 right here just like totally like oh my gosh like replace all that with 5 so now it's just uh, use your noodle uh, what what do I replace this circle with something plus 5 is 9 well 4 plus 5 is 9 so I guess we figured out that a circle equals 4 Okay, so look, just put a 4 right there, because x was the circle, so, yep, got it, 4 plus something is 5, well, that something has to be a 1, so, uh, y equals 1, and x equals 4, done, let's just double check, 2 times 4, plus 1 does that equal 9? definitely 8 plus 1 equals 9 done! thanks for listening!